Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model design strips for a complex slab in RAM concept. Over the next series of videos, we will manually modify the design span layout for an elevated concrete slab that includes several complex configurations, including an irregular column layout with different sized columns, large and small slab openings, slab depressions and slab steps, drop caps and drop panels, and different slab supports, including concrete columns, beams, and walls below the slab. This is an advanced course on design strips in RAM concept. If you are new to the program or to the process of generating design strips, I would suggest that you watch the basic design strips class first, where we will show you how to define the span segment properties and generate the design strips. A link to that course is available in the comments down below. Before we get started, let's review the mesh input layer in the finite element mesh to familiarize ourselves with the model that we will be using throughout this series of videos. As you can see, all of the support and slab elements have already been modeled and the preliminary finite element mesh has been created. In addition to that, this model also contains dead load and live load that have been modeled on the appropriate layers. So let's discuss the overall workflow for creating design strips in RAM concept. For this series of videos, we are going to assume that we're at the point in our workflow where we're ready to start modeling design strips. The typical process for generating design strips is as follows. You will start by creating the span segments, either by drawing them manually or by generating them through the tools within RAM concept. You will then generate the span segment strips, considering the span segments that you already created. And finally, you will review and modify the span segment strips as needed. Now for this series of videos, we will be focusing the majority of our time on the last step in this workflow, which will be reviewing and modifying the span segments. So what are our goals for the series of videos? After these videos, you will have a greater understanding on how the design strips correspond to the calculated results, including the design reinforcement and design status results. You will also recognize which slab configurations may need some additional attention and be able to identify possible solutions or techniques that you can use to improve your slab design. Now that we have reviewed our goals and the sample model, let's direct our attention to the latitude and longitude design strips layers. For this model, we have already defined the span segment properties for a traditionally reinforced two-way elevated concrete slab. To review those properties, double-click on the span segment icon within the layer specific tools. To begin the process of modeling design strips for this model, we will ask the program to generate the span segments in both the latitude and longitude directions using the default span segment properties. To do that, we can go to the standard toolbar on each of the appropriate layers and ask the program to generate the spans. First, I'll start with the latitude direction where my design spans will be parallel to the global x-axis and 
then I will repeat this process for the longitude direction. After you model your design spans, you're ready to generate your design strips. To start that process, we can go to the stan standard toolbar and click on the Generate Strips icon. This will generate all of the strips for all of the design spans in both the latitude and longitude direction. Now during this process, it is common to come up with several analysis warnings, especially if you have a complex lab system. We're going to go ahead and address most of these warnings throughout this series of videos to achieve a better slab design. So I'm going to go ahead and just click past these at this point. Whenever analysis warnings are generated, you'll see a warnings and error dialog pop up on your screen. Again, we'll just go ahead and close this for now as we will address those in this series of videos. So here we can see the longitude and latitude design strips that have been created. Now before we move on to editing the design spans, I like to perform a quick preliminary calculation. What this will do for us is it will allow us to preview the reinforcement considering the default span segments that we generated by the program and to preview any warnings that are created. So let's go ahead and start that process. Typically, you would start by regenerating your finite element mesh. And then you will perform your calculation. Again, we may receive some analysis warnings and we'll just go ahead and proceed through those as those will be issues that we will address in this series of videos. Now that we have performed the preliminary calculation, we should be able to see the reinforcement results and the cross-section perspective plan. Let's go ahead and start with a cross-section perspective plan. To access that layers, you can go to your layers toolbar item, go to design strips, and you should be able to see the latitude and longitude cross-sectional perspective plan. This will give you a good idea on how your shear cores and your design strips are currently laid out. And again, this will be available in both the latitude and longitude direction after a calculation is performed. In addition to that, you will be able to see your reinforcement plans. You can see each reinforcement plan individually. I'm going to go ahead and go to the latitude and longitude bar plans to give you a preview on what that would look like with this default span segment layout that we have. Now the final thing we'll go ahead and take a look at while performing our preliminary calculation is how to access your visible objects on each layer. Now each layer within RAM concept has a default types of objects that are automatically displayed. To modify your view, you can go to the standard toolbar and click on the visible objects icon. Now throughout the course of this series of videos, I may decide which types of reinforcement I want to view if I'm working on, say, some design strips that would affect the top bars or the bottom bars, I can turn those on and off. And I can also turn on the design strip information on the reinforcement plans. This may be especially helpful if you're trying to modify a reinforcement layout by editing the span segment properties. This will give you a good idea about which span segment you need to go ahead and address on your design strip layers. Now this concludes our process for introducing you to our sample model and discussing our goals for our workflow today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.